not the way for me. Only a mile to go. Somewhere I'll belong. I'll see. Yeah, yeah, that just happened, hat, glasses, more to come. We'll talk about that here in a second. First thing I need to do is go get my tire. I was at the uh, boat ramp the other day, the water was low, kind of slipped off the ramp a little bit, something like that. It's kind of my fault, but anyway, talk about trailer tires. Boat ramps and trailer tires, low water boat ramps and trailer tires. I ain't even got a... All right, does it sound better now? <laughs> I didn't have my mic. I didn't have a microphone on my camera. It was coming straight off of the built-in mic on the camera, which is trash. I'm gonna talk about uh, boat ramps, like low water boat ramps and uh, trailer tires. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Getting ready to go pick mine up. You know, when I bought the tires, my pimped out tires for my John boat, I bought it from a really good company. I'm not sponsored by them, no affiliation. My buddy Tracy Bowles told me about this company, Tracy Smoke -a Bowl, that is. Well, not anymore, he quit, three years dry. I bought these tires from this company, and I'm gonna tell you the company, I'm gonna give you the link and everything. They had the best prices, and not only did they have the best prices, Prices, they have the best customer service ever, ever. Let me go get my tire and then we'll talk more about it. Damn, this road is So there you go. I got me a tire put on today, as you can see, and it cost me eight bucks. Eight bucks is all I got in this tire. Let's get back and put the tire on the trailer where it belongs. And we'll get that ratty, we'll get that ratty, uh, ratty ass looking spare off there so I don't look like Jed Clampett and the Beverly Hillbillies going down the road in my truck and boat. Let's do this. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my spare off, which I always carry my spare in the back of my truck. The way I change tires, because I'm, I've changed a few on a John boat before, all right? Sorry, I've changed a few on a John boat trailer before. I hook it up to my boat, I'm gonna pull it out, and then I'm gonna take it off and change it. It's gonna be, it's easy, it's easy. And I ain't gonna hook your chains up or nothing like that. I'm just gonna plop it on here and just where I can move it. That way, you don't have to worry about the trailer rolling when you put your jack up underneath it. My driveway is kind of at an angle, so I'm gonna pull this thing out. Just like I said, throw a jack up underneath it. Got me a floor jack, Advance Auto, for like 75 bucks. Google and search for Advance Auto Park coupons, and if you order online, you'll save like 25%. <laughs> or just know the manager there. Booker's on right there is a spare, my friend. That is the most hillbilly thing that I've got. Well, no, actually it's not. I got about 10 fiddles in there that's pretty hillbilly. New tire. So the first thing that you want to do here, this is my good buddy. This is my good buddy, Jamie Weston's. Uh, what do you call this thing? A tire uh, lug wrench. We'll call it a lug wrench. It's my good buddy uh, Jamie Weston's. He gave this to me last time. I had a flat tire and I still have it. Said he knows where it's at. So Jamie, if you ever want this back, you can have it. It's in the back of my truck. Another thing I learned from the first time I blew my tire out on a boat ramp was I always have a lug wrench, block of wood, and a spare tire. First thing you want to do is make sure that you get these lugs loosened while the trailer's on the ground, like so cool thing about this thing, it's got four different sides. 
One of them's got to work. <laughs> and I think it's that one. What I'm going to do is just loosen them up just a little. <sighs> Ooh, that's on there. Good. I guess I feel like a hillbilly. I don't know what I'm saying. Loosen them up. Get the floor jack here. Got that dude right there up underneath there. Like so. Just jack her up. Just like that. Up and down. Jack her up, boys. Come on. Jack her up. That's all you need right there. Boat trailer is hooked to the truck. It ain't going nowhere. Make sure your tire spins freely. Spare. Put it in the back of your truck. Now it looks like some of these bolts right here. A little rusted. I don't know if you're supposed to spray WD-40 on them or not. But I'm just going to do it just to get some of the rust and grime off a little bit. A lot of people don't like WD-40. Say it rusts. Causes rust or does something stupid. I don't know. But it's all I got. Now we got that tire off. It's time to put this one back on. Now all you're going to do is slide this tire right back up on the hub. Hub. Like so. Make sure you line it up. Screw your nuts on with your fingers. Now you will get a little dirty, so. But it'll be alright. You can wash it off with soap. No problem. That's pretty much how you change a trailer tire. Simple, ain't it? If I can do it, anybody can do it. So I get these on here hand tight, then I'll lower it and tighten it up the rest of the way. Go ahead and put Jamie's uh, lug wrench back in the back of the old truck. Just like that. There she is. Looking fine, looking fine. Remember, always carry a spare, a block of wood, and a lug wrench. You can use the jack that comes in your truck. Some people carry a floor jack in the back of their truck. I don't. My jack works fine. That's why you got that block of wood. And when you get new tires for your John Boat trailer, keep one of them if they're good as a spare like I did. And then I threw the other one away. It wasn't no count. We learned, we're learning two things here. I just showed you how to change tire on a trailer. Okay. The other lesson is customer service. Customer service makes a company. You could have the crappiest product out there, but if you got good customer service, you got a crappy product with good customer service. But what I'm saying is, when I blew my tire last week, I emailed RexStuff.com. That's where I got them from. Sent them a picture. I said, hey, my tire blew out on the sidewall. No questions, no nothing. They said, tire's on its way. Didn't have to go through any loops, jump any hurdles, climb any trees, dig any ditches. They said, thanks for the picture. Sorry that happened. We got you another one coming. Three days later, there it is. Get a running start so you can make it up a hill, Sonny. Went to Affordable Tires, paid them eight bucks to put it on. They had it done within an hour. And I'm probably 10 minutes from them. Wreckstuff.com, check them out if you need any kind of tires for your trailer. I think they got all kinds of tires. These trailer tires I got, I think I paid like 200 bucks for them and they're pimped out for the John Boat. You've seen them, wreckstuff.com. Thanks for watching my video. Check me out on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. I don't know, but why, why, why do I keep saying Twitter? I don't even get on there. And until next time, we'll catch you on the flip flop.